Hello and uh, welcome to another one of my tutorials. Um, today what I'm going to show you is how to um, have a look at your system performance on your Mac. So if you are getting slowed down um, when you're using any of your applications, if you've got loads open, um, you can work out what's slowing you down, um, or if you're just having uh, Mac problems and you're, it's not being responsive, you can take a look here and see if you can diagnose the issue. So first of all we need to go into um, our applications, you can even do this on the launch pad or in applications. Um, so I'm just going to go here and just type in monitor um, and that should bring it up. The one you're looking for is Activity Monitor. I think if you want to find it in Finder, it's likely to be um, under Applications um, and probably System Preferences or something like that, or Utilities, um, and then Activity Monitor here. So I'm going to go ahead and open that one up. Um, and you can see along the top here, you've got CPU, which is your processor, your memory. Um, energy, I assume, is the um, amount of energy's impact on the battery. So if your battery is going flat quick, you can see why it's doing that. Uh, disk and network. Um, so CPU, um, you can once you're in here, you can see which one's using the most load. Um, at the moment, I am recording this, so um, that's actually using the most. Um, you can see how long it's been doing for the threads and um, etc. And on the, on the bottom here, you can actually see a graph of um, the the load. Um, at the moment you can see it's 85% idle, so it's, it's really nowhere near topping out, so it's definitely not the bottleneck. On memory, um, same again, you can sort by the memory it's using. Um, my backup crash plan, which is a fantastic backup if anybody's looking for an online backup. Um, again, I've got um, 8 gig of physical memory here, and I'm using 3.4, so again, uh, that's not bottleneck by slowness, and uh, it's not really under load at all on my Mac at the moment. And then energy, um, I am on the battery at the moment, and I can see that Chrome is actually using more um, energy um, than, than screen recording. Um, again, you can see it on a graph to see and measure your um, your energy impact. Your disk is the read and write. So I've got a solid state disk in my Mac Air, so this is it's going to be able to cope very very quickly. Um, but if you have got something that's using um, a high I/O, i.e., it's doing lots of disk writes, then you're going to be able to see it here. And then finally, if you're transferring stuff to the network, at the moment I'm not really doing much at all. Crash plan is, is talking to the network, I can see, regards to my backup, Chrome as well, um, but very small amounts. So if you are doing a lot of um, LAN work or over the internet, you can be able to measure the network here and see if it's maxing out um, on your NIC speed or your WADA speed. I hope it's been useful for you. Activity Mode is great if you're if to diagnosing problems. It's a great starting point. Um, and um, have a look around, have a play with it, and... Um, do some tests and see what you think. Hope it's been useful for you. If you like, please subscribe and uh, there'll be more to come. Thank you very much.